guys it's all around Danny and this is a tutorial showing you guys how to remove dead links from your iTunes library so this uh, tutorial doesn't require any type of uh, download you don't have to download any software any plugin nothing like that uh, that will do it for you you can do it manually uh, following these simple steps so moving right along we open up our iTunes library and we're going to create a smart playlist you know just click on your music and go to file the first uh, option is new go to smart playlists over here second to the last one on the bottom and we're going to um, have on the first in the first box artist and the second is not and we're gonna type in any is not what pie there's nobody named pie in my in my artist um, column so this all this is going to do is simply add all the songs that you have in your music you know that do not start with uh that do not um have the name pi and we're going to name this all music all it does is add that to one playlist and now what we're going to do is that we're going to create another playlist but this time it's just going to be a normal playlist and we're going to name this live files and now we're going to create another playlist. This time it's going to be a smart playlist. We're going to have two rows here. The first one says playlist is music. And the second one says playlist is not live files. So this is, going to, this is, uh, this is the playlist that's going to contain all the dead files. So we're going to click OK. And right now, as you can see, uh, well, first of all, let's name it. We're going to name it dead files. All the files are on here. We'll watch what's going to happen. As soon as we add all the music from all music um, to the live files playlist, only the dead files are going to appear over here on the dead files playlist. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to all music. We're going to click on one of the songs. Click control A. Highlight all of the songs and drag this over to live files. taking a bit oh, no, actually it's fine as you can see now it drags 726 songs that were uh, you know working that the computer could find and play as you can see I can play the song right now and over here on my dead files playlist are all the songs that I cannot play that the computer cannot find and now what we do now is that we simply click control a once again and click control and leave control shift press down and click delete and as you can see all of the dead files are now gone from my iTunes library at least for my playlist oh no actually it's now gone from music in general as you can see I only have 726 songs that are working and now over here in our recycle bin we are going to delete them. Oh no, it deletes it straight off the computer. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> so that's really it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, if you like the content, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more content. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.